There are a few things that you might not know about Dusan. And that's that he was one of the first people to actually embrace decentralization by creating true global ventures, which is a fully decentralized fund, right? A little bit exaggerated, but put it this way, that already in 2011, um, we, we decided to do investments from 11 cities. So if you are in 11 cities, obviously you need to do it in a decentralized way. And these cities were Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, uh, San Francisco, New York, Paris, Berlin, Stockholm, London. So we invested only into fintech and mainly fintech blockchain uh, through 11 different cities and 40 partners. All right. But um, the question is, of course, when did you start doing blockchain? Yeah, so we've been looking in the space since 2013, and we did uh, the first investments in 2015-16. I remember some of your notorious investments were Shares Post and Bluezell? Yeah, Bluezell was probably the first one, and then Shares Post and then Bounties was powered by Kenya, the, the three of them. Right, so um, yesterday we had a little chat, you know, just to align what we're going to discuss and Dushan said to me, we're not going to discuss whether there is really a crypto winter. Let's accept that there is a crypto winter, right? As a fact. So we, we accept that the situation is difficult right now for investments. So my question is, what is your recommendation? What is the strategy right now for investors to survive this? Yeah, I mean, to sur survive, uh, uh, you know, I, I really believe, honestly, that it's, it is actually the best time to invest. But I'm just saying that there is crypto venture and there is less money coming in. But I definitely believe it's the best time to invest. So, so I've been around since the Internet Protocol days, which was 20 years ago. And I think it's the same in, as in those days. The entrepreneurs have to bootstrap. I think what Joe Lobin does with Consensus is great. Uh, you know, really trying to, to make it happen with those companies that he has invested into and really make sure that, that, that they will work. That was what happens 20 years exactly uh, uh, with all the incubators we had. So I think that is the right way from an entrepreneurial point of view. And from an investment point of view, what I did 20 years ago was to invest in payment companies that I really believed. In those days, there were hundreds and thousands of payments companies. And I invested in those that I really, really believed in. I even bought out people from the cap table that I really believed them, in them, in the companies and the entrepreneurs running it. And maybe some of those, uh, you know, investors in those companies in those days were, you know, a little bit tired, didn't believe anymore in, in the internet protocol in those days. So I think that learning from 20 years ago will be repetitive. And I think also it will take a long time. So if you go into the game and start to invest now, you need to do it for the long haul. And I, but I truly believe in it. I truly believe in it. And I, tr I truly believe that uh, the distributed ledgers will be integrated in seamlessly in the background, exactly like the internet protocol is integrated in the background in everything we almost do today. Well, you have been con consistently investing into equity when investing into blockchain, right? Yeah, that is correct. I, I've always done, ex you know, I, I co-invest with serial entrepreneurs. They put in some money, we put in some money when starting the companies. So yes, I've always started to invest into equity. May I ask you a tricky question? Sure. So part of blockchain and part of the crypto development is actually tokenization. By investing into equity doesn't mean that you um, less, I mean, let's say, trust less into tokens, or does it mean that you want to take less risk, simply? I think it's all about alignment, aligning with the entrepreneurs, exactly what they do, that's where I am, in general. It doesn't mean that I believe less in it, uh, but I, I believe in 100% in alignment. So, you know, many VCs take preferred shares, we don't, we take common stock. Got it. So just so on the token side, obviously, uh, as, as long as uh, I think the risky part of that is, 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 the, is the legality of the token itself. So I, I think it's going to, in 2018 and 19, it's going straight into security tokens and all this that we'll discuss later. And I think that will open up the asset class for, for traditional equity investors.